Hey, if you want to see more of these tech talks, go to my channel homepage at youtube.com slash Aaron Gould Network Knowledge, where you'll find a whole list of tech talks that I have available. Subscribe and hit that bell so that you can get notified anytime I upload new videos. Also, give me a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing. Share it with someone that you think might also enjoy these videos and benefit from them. And when you're done watching a video, why don't you drop me a quick comment, give me some feedback, like I need a new haircut or something like that. But anyway, let's get back to this next video. Hey, welcome back everybody. So certification takes a lot of time, takes a lot of energy, a lot of you applying yourself to climbing a learning curve. And recertification is sometimes equally as challenging. Well, Cisco over the last, gosh, I think the last year or two came out with a way to stay certified without taking an exam. It's awesome. And we're going to get into that right now. So what it is, is it's continuing education credits. The uh, thing you want to do is if you Google Cisco continuing education, you'll have a list that probably hits on something like this. Cisco continuing education program. Click that. And it's going to take you to a site that looks like this. And this is where you're going to learn all about Cisco's continuing education program and how to get recertified without taking an exam. Okay, so it tells you uh, what if you're an associate or a specialist or a professional or a CCIE or a CCDE, a design expert, it tells you this is how many CE credits that you need to recertify. So this is the column. If you want to recertify using continuing education only, this is how many credits you need. If you want to recertify using a combination of CEs plus exams, then you'll want to do this over here. But if you're like me, you're going to try to figure out any way to get recertified without taking an exam. Now, of course, you learn a ton when you prepare for those exams. And so not trying to diminish the value of the pursuit of learning and preparing for those exams. You're still going to need to do that to stay sharp in your profession. But man, when it comes down to the wire and I got to get recertified uh, and I'm running out of time, I'm looking for any way possible to get recertified and with the least amount of effort, if I've got to get it done for to get my credentials for another three years. It is nice that Cisco has standardized on three years now across the board, especially for you experts out there. I think that used to be two years. Okay, now I'm gonna use myself as an example. I needed to recertify a couple pro-level certs. So I needed to get 80 continuing education credits. When I got those 80 credits, and I'll tell you how I did that in a moment, I recertified both of my pro-level certs in the enterprise track as well as the service provider track. And it also recertified uh, my CCNA that was below my, C my two CCNPs. So let's go back over here to this website. And if you continue going down, it tells you various things about getting going and recertifying with continuing education. Okay, if you go further down, it tells you that there's eligible courses, there's items that you can author, as well as Cisco Live uh, opportunities. All of these three things give you continuing education. If you go into the eligible courses, there's a portal here that shows you classes from Cisco or their learning partners that you can uh, go through to get some CEs that way. You can also uh, um, author items for some of their uh, tests that they offer, which actually sounds kind of cool just to be involved in authoring test material for these different levels of, um, of tests. And so you can also get credits that way, and here's how many they give you. If you want to learn more about that, click here. And then 
Also, Cisco Live uh, affords you an opportunity to get some continuing education credits as well. Some of these hands-on labs, some of the DevNet workshops, and so you'll have to look through that to see if that's a way to gain some credits also for you. All right. So the um, the next thing I wanted to show you is if you click on the portal here for the eligible courses, it takes you to a site that looks like this, ce.cisco.com. So that's continuingeducation.cisco.com. And so when you're at this website, you can see the certificates that you have, you know, the uh, certifications that you've gotten. And here's the ones that I've gotten. And it also has a item catalog here. So I want you to click on this item catalog. When you click on that, it'll take you to a website that looks like this. And uh, these are a lot of the courses that, uh, and look, there's pages of them. Here's page one, page two, page three, page four. And here's the credits that you can get for each one of these courses, all right? Now, some of these courses are free. I think they might be free to customers. Um, I can just tell you that the access that I have through um, my CCO account, or I really don't remember how I logged into this. I think it might be my CCO account. But when I log in, some of these courses are free. And they, I'm pretty sure, are the ones that are delivered uh, via this Cisco Digital Learning, this book icon. And so when you click on them, you can uh, learn more about how to take those. All right. I'll, I can tell you that I took um, one of a few of them that were worth six credits each. And then I took one that was worth two credits each. And then I think I took one that was worth 12. So you'll have to dig in to some of these other pages, find the ones that you want to take. I'm pretty sure there's a, a, a quiz or an, an exam at the end of it right there online, right up when you're taking it. You can take a quiz. You might even be able to retake the quiz if you don't uh, get a passing grade. And so it's all right there. You can get those credits right away. I think I did a few of them in one night and accumulated a bunch of uh, continuing, edu continuing education credits like that. Now, after you take some of these courses, they give you a certificate and there's a certificate ID that you're going to want to copy uh, or keep, keep that certificate because in the bottom, I think there's a certificate ID. Whenever you um, complete that and you get that certificate ID, you're going to need to go to the Submit Items tab right here. And when you get to the Submit Items tab, it's going to look like this. It's going to look like this. So when you submit these items, you're going to need to fill in the appropriate information. And I think this is where you're going to need that certificate ID. Now that got me about 30 something continuing education credits. And you might recall that I needed 80 to recertify my pro level certs. So I came across, you know, another one of those options through those training uh, courses that are uh, in that portal. Uh, something I was interested in was learning a little bit more about DevNet. And so I looked at this DevNet course and I found that they were offering it 50% off and uh, you have a month to complete the course. And so it's either $99 or it's one Cisco learning credit. So if you have access to Cisco Learning Credits, I had a couple um, and I needed to spend them because they only last so long and they expire. So I used one Cisco Learning Credit. I bought this course, you know, and I took my time for a little while, but you only have about a month to complete it. I think you can extend it maybe. Not sure, but you'll have to look into that. Maybe with another learning credit, you might be able to extend it. Uh, so and then you need to take, I think there's chapter quizzes or an exam at the end of it. But I think, again, I think you can retake that exam and it's online. Uh, you can retake it if you don't pass it. And so that 
gave me, I think it was 48 credits. Is it in here somewhere? Sure is, right there, look at that. By completing this course, you get 48 continuing education credits. All right, so that, that's a pretty good deal right there. And so between the, I think it's 32 credits that I got for free on the learning portal and the 48 that I bought with one Cisco learning credit, which is $99, uh, I was able to get 80 credits and recertify two pro certs and a uh, CCNA. So considering that, that the exams themselves are a few hundred dollars, you know, I only spent 99 bucks and that was a pretty good deal. Then after a while, you can go to the Cisco certification tracking system, certmetrics.com, and you can see that you have officially gotten recertified and the new expiration date is 2024 for those uh, certifications that got recertified through the continuing education program. So I think it's a really great deal. I'm so glad Cisco did it. Uh, and also Juniper has been doing this for, I think a few years before Cisco started doing it. I'm going to do another video. Look for another video later if you're interested, or if you need to recertify your Juniper certs and I'll talk about how to do continuing education to get recertified for those also. Hey, I hope that tech talk was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on those notifications, give me a thumbs up, share it with somebody that you think might benefit. And if you leave me a comment about my haircut, you're not going to hurt my feelings. Until next time, thanks a lot.